this is Wellington. Oh yeah, the center. We drove all the way up to here, and this is where we are now for the alpaca farm. But we're gonna have to drive all the way back and maybe see if you pour some wine. Welcome to Wellington. Wellington. <laughs> yeah, I think Wellington this weekend and it's one of the most popular wine regions in the Western Cape. We're really hoping that we do not get drunk on this trip here, but we've got so many things planned for this weekend. Not only wine tasting, but different sort of things and activities we can do there. And obviously the first stop we're going to do is visit the Wellington Museum because let's get real, we kind of need to understand how Wellington who started that. And it's actually it's like raining and it's like proper rain. Let me just show you. We were meant to ooh, ooh, mud, mud, go that way, but it is super muddy. We wanted to see the alpacas, but to be real, our car is not gonna make it through here. I mean, just look at what I'm standing in. Like, drenched in mud. Ugh. We are probably just gonna turn around and do maybe some wine tasting or we'll see if there's another activity we can do. It's really unfortunate that the rain has dampened our plans to go and visit the alpaca farm. But that doesn't mean there isn't anything else to do in Wellington. So this is Wellington. Oh yeah, the center. We drove all the way up to here. And this is where we are now for the alpaca farm. But we're gonna have to drive all the way back and maybe see if you pour some wine estate here and some here. And yeah. <music> perfect place <laughs> in church street it's opposite the wellington museum so it really is a one stop in church street alone we're sitting outside even though it is moody and cloudy and cold but it's really cozy and dusty they've got blankets and we've got our coffee going i've got a vanilla latte got a cappuccino getting toasted sandwiches and we're just admiring the cars going by. 